Good evening, Mr. Gilberto. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today, mister? Uh, uh, thank, uh, thank you, uh, my God. Very nice. I was working today. Okay, you were working. Yes. What time do you finish working? And they finish working uh, at four p.m. At four. After, after okay. Four p.m. Okay. Good. You get some rest before class. Yes. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Andres is reporting. Hello, Julio and Gabriela. Good evening. Mr. Roberto, hello. Rebecca, good evening. Hi. How is everybody doing on this Tuesday, Tuesday night? Well, I don't know, have you been enjoying the wind this afternoon? It was really windy. Did you have some time to, to enjoy the wind? It feels, it felt like October, October winds. Probably most of you were working, right? <laughs> okay. Mauricio, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, got it, Roberto. Well, let's get started. I was just checking who was coming in and so on. Uh, I want to start today by uh, checking how we're doing in terms of the platform. Because as you know, 
we're about to be done. So just in case, um, we need to keep up, okay? So let me check here. Ooh, what is it here? Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, um, well, this is our chart, right? So, wow, some of you are really ahead, like Mr. Gilberto, I see Danny, um, let me see, Andres is also, also miss, only missing, well, we are missing here homework four. Well, but great. Most of you are already uh, up with the homework. Here, Mr. Mauricio, I think we need to, to work on them. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, well, there are a few of you, but very, very few who need to work on the missing assignments. Remember that this is something uh, mandatory, right? It's part of your uh, course uh, certification. So it's like the, the element that, I mean, attendance plus working on the assignments is like the key to be promoted to the next module, right? So that's why it is mandatory, okay? So we need to keep up. But I am happy, I'm glad that to see that most of you are, are up with all the, the assignments, just a few of you that need to, to keep up, okay? To get a let's say to get updated, to uh, work on what you're missing. Okay, well, eh, I know that there have been some incidences. I already reported them. I'm waiting eh, for them to be fixed. I hope that they can be fixed um, these days, one of these days, maybe tomorrow or Thursday, right? Before the module ends just so um, we don't have that problem, okay? And your grade is not affected. Okay, well, I don't know if there is any question or comment about this. I just wanted you to check how we are doing. Um, I'm glad that almost everybody is up to date with the homework, so great job on that. And those who are not well, you still have, have a few days to keep up, right? Okay, well, now let's check attendance. Let me see. Okay, here we are. Danny Anthony, Sigüenza Aventura, as a listener, Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Andres Martinez Perez, he is driving home. Let me see. Yes, where are you? 
Uh, I don't see you, Andres. Well, I think he's not here right now. Uh, Julio, oh, I'm sorry, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Well, according to this uh, information, Gilberto and Jose Israel are the ones that are like, well, no, let me see. Danny, Gilberto, and Jose Israel are the ones that are already like at the top with attendance. So congratulations. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. I see you, Julio, but I can't hear you. It seems that you have connection issues, maybe. Let's see, Lady Joanna Hernandez Ventura. Lady. Present teacher. I was going to say that I don't see you. <laughs> ah, it's because I was looking for your initial lady with L. Pero aparece listener primero. Okay, eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Um, okay, Mr. Rodrigo is on his way home. I think he's going to join us soon. Eh, let's see, Maria Leticia Realejeño. Leticia, where are you? Oh, I see you there. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús, Buruca Velázquez. Yeah, yes, present teacher. Excellent. Rebeca Maria, Cardona Juarez. She's a listener. Um, Roberto Carlos, Camis Alvarenga. He's also a listener today. Um, Rolando Danilo Sanchez Arteaga. Also a listener. He's working. Sofia Karina Crespo Martinez. Hello, Sofia. Present teacher present. Excellent. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, Andres, hello. Well, hello, eh, teacher. Hi, you're home already. <laughs> Great. Okay, I have a few of you who are listeners, so I would like to check who is participating. So I know who I can count with. Let me see, Gilberto, Andres, Gabriela, how about you? I think I don't see you are a listener. Eh, Jose Israel. Eh, Mauricio. Sofía. Okay. Well. Um, let me tell you that today we are starting, well, as you know, we have been talking about brand awareness Monday. Um, uh, well, since last week, actually, uh, we started checking some the, the definitions, right? And yesterday, eh, I thought today was Wednesday. That's why I was going to say Monday, Tuesday. No, but today is Tuesday. I mean, yesterday, eh, we discussed also eh, some ideas related to eh, brand awareness, right? Now, today, we're going to start by checking some ideas in an article related to you know, it's a little bit more um, specific, okay, uh, related to brand awareness. So I'm going to share the link in the WhatsApp group so you can access it from there. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to share my screen. Okay, we're going to just, I mean, the article is really long, but I'm I'm interested in you checking, first of all, like a more complete definition and some examples. And then, a, okay, let me show you. Just so I'm not. 
Okay, so here is the article. Uh, so we're going to focus on this part first, like the definition, okay? And then we're going to move um, here to strategy because uh, we're going to be talking about strategy later on. So what's a brand awareness strategy? Okay, these two paragraphs. And then I'm also interested in checking, in us checking uh, the stages, okay? Because we have some vocabulary related to stages. Mm, let me see. Okay, here we have uh, some stages that are important to consider in brand awareness. So this is what we're going to check from the article, but there are so many other um, so many other pieces of information that are interesting if you want to check it later. Okay, so um, let's go back to the beginning to check the definition. Okay, um, so we're going to be taking turns, reading aloud, and also checking some pronunciation. Um, and for vocabulary, we're going to focus specifically on a brand awareness stages. Okay, so here I'm going to ask someone to help me. Um, okay, I'm going to start with Andres. Yay! <laughs> you read my mind. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is brand awareness? We're going to read this part, please. Or maybe okay, teacher. I'm sorry, up to here. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let let us look let us look at some one of the examples of brands to show what brand awareness means. Over the years, many top companies were able to increase brand awareness in the consumers' minds. Brands awareness examples include Amazon, WhatsApp, Microsoft, Walmart, Nike. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. People can quickly identify these well-known brands by only spurring brand logos, like the Nike Swoosh and Audio Nike Sound logo. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, um, can you please read the last paragraph because it's part of the definition as well? I'm sorry. Yes. Every company can build brand awareness. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me one second here. <laughs> okay. I think I will have to close. Okay. Give me a second. I don't know what I touched. And okay, I'm going to open the link again. Okay. Okay, here we are. So, every company can build brand awareness. By using attractive visuals and voice content. This, build, this will be possible if you can read fully, invest in advertising using different social media platforms in mass media channels. The key to success is to be consistent and try to increase your brand image in the target audience mind. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to like 
repeat some words that we need to practice pronunciation of. So let's start with, uh, let's see. I think here we are fine. Oh, this part, uh, it says, people can quickly identify these well-known brands by only spotting, spotting. Spotting. Mm -hmm. spotting. spotting. Spot, in this case, is related Spot. to like, okay, for example, YouTube or Walmart. Uh, you see, for example, for Walmart, what is the, the logo for Walmart? There is like a, I don't know if it is like a flower or like a light that is yellow, right? So we see it and we immediately think Walmart, right? Or Facebook, also the F in blue, we, we know that is Facebook. So spot is like you look at something very fast and you identify it uh, fast as well. Um, okay, let me see. Mm. Ah, this one, key, the key to success, the key. The key. Okay. key. okay, very good. So there we have a, the definition, right? A, I think a, what we discussed these days about brand awareness, right? Like how familiar uh, your brand is to the audience, right? To the public. Okay, now uh, we're going to focus on strategy. Okay, so we're going to read these two paragraphs. What's a brand awareness strategy? And I'm going to ask Gilberto to help me with the first paragraph, please. Okay, teacher. What's a brand awareness strategy? A brand awareness strategy is a set of marketing tactics that aims to earn business. A fan and a spritz is a brand message. Grox is a brand audience and it eventually establishes better and greater brand recognition in the target market. There are many ways to build brand awareness you need to work out the most effective brand awareness strategy for your business target audience brand, service, or products. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see some words that we can practice. Um, for example, recognition, this one, oops. Recognition. 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 Yes. Okay, so, well, Let's go over this uh, part again. A brand awareness strategy is a set of marketing tactics, right? Okay. A set of marketing set tactics. Of marketing tactics, uh -huh. uh, What for? To help a business expand and expand. To help a business spread. expand. Spread. And spread. Mm -hmm. It's a brand message. Brand message. Mm -hmm. Message. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Now let's finish up. Let me see, Israel, could you please uh, read this part? Um, a strong brand awareness strategy is the best way to get your brand into people's lives. Uh, influencing their purchasing habits and, and online interaction to become loyal to your brand and refer it to their family and friends. A successful successful brand awareness strategy will consider several key factors, such as the interest and needs of your consumers, your existing competitors, competitor, competitors, and the services and product you offer. Okay, great. So this paragraph is mostly focused on a um, how we can tell if the brand strategy is good, right? It's effective. Okay, in this case, we're going to practice the pronunciation of this word into people's lives. In this case, because into it's- People's lives. Uh -huh. 
because it's the plural. This word is tricky because in this case, for example, is the plural of life, right? So that's why we say lives. But when you use it as a verb, for example, she lives in California, right? So when you use it as a verb, it's live. And when you use it as the plural of life, it's lives, <laughs> okay? Let's see um, what else. Um, oh, this one, existing competitors, competitors or competitors. Existing competitors. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so uh, just to focus a little bit on the content of this paragraph, I was telling you, right, that it, the focus here is how effective the brand awareness strategy is, right? And how can we tell that? Mm, well, there are some factors, right? Of course, the interest and needs of your consumers, right? Uh, the competitors, we need to consider what they are doing and well, the services and products we are offering. So here we have a, a model, right? In terms of a, the brand awareness strategy. In, well, in this case is the brand model, a affinity, right? How familiar, or how relatable your brand is with your target target audience, um, how relevant it is, credible, right? The credibility, uh, what makes you unique. Uh, in this case, character will have to do with um, the values and personality, uh, the characteristics, right? Like how it behaves um, in terms of Mm, let's say when you compare it to other brands. Okay, well, uh, the next part that I wanted to focus on, as I said, is the stages. As you see, there are many subtopics here, but because we're gonna be talking about the stages later on, let's skip that part, okay, so. Let's start here. What is hierarchy of effects theory for brand awareness? And here we start talking about the six stages of brand awareness are awareness, knowledge, liking, preference, conviction, and purchase. The hierarchy of effects model tells advertisers how to make an advertisement based on what the customer goes through. And now let's focus on this. Okay, so I'm going to have Gabriela. Gabriela, can you help me with the first two, please? Awareness stage and knowledge stage. Okay, two paragraphs. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Awareness stage is the most critical step and the starting point of a customer's your name and, and for purchase. Mm -hmm. Brand needs to make sure that the customer is aware of your brand, your, your brand name in a particular product segment. Mm -hmm. The second paragraph is the knowledge stage is where your product will be evaluated against other brands by the customer. Consumers ensure enough and uh, knowledge is available about your product through uh, the internet, retail store, and the product pa package itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, let's practice some words here. Uh, Gabriela, let's start with a starting point. A starting point. A starting point. Uh, next, journey. Journey. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and the second one. Mm, package. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, great. 
Uh, so we have the first two. Remember, these are um, brand awareness stages, right? Um, so now we're going to check the liking stage and the preference stage. Uh, let's see. Mauricio, please. Liking and preference. Yes, teacher. Liking stage is where your consumer bills a liking to your brands product this is so this stage is where your product is being considered for its emotional benefit this is the time to make sure to be prominent to them mm -hmm. preference stage is when consumers may be um, convince so, convince conviction stage buffering stage sorry yes we are here okay is when convinced mm -hmm. consumer may be convinced to try out your product but may like other brands again the points of different differentiation or unique Selling points needs to be in a hike lighted to make sure that the consumers like your brand more than the others at this stage. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. We're going to practice some words. It's, let's just start with this one. Considered. Considered. Mm -hmm. And next. A prominent. 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 Mm -hmm. prominent. Okay. And then convinced. Convinced. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think that's it. Okay. okay. Let's now check uh, the two other stages. We have convic conviction stage and purchase stage. Let me see if there is someone else participating. Um, Sophia. Oh, lady, go ahead. Uh, conviction stage, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. Conviction stage is where the doubt in your consumers' minds about budging the product needs to be converted into action. Marketers at this stage can push by giving out demo, free samples, tests, drives, etc. Et mm -hmm. Push pushes state is the last in the most crucial stage of the consumer budging cycle is the purchase. Therefore, you need to make sure that the purchase experience is easy in perhaps even enjoyable for the consumer. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Here we're going to practice with, okay, purchase, purchase. Purchase. Mm -hmm. And let's see. The purchase experience is easy and perhaps even, even, okay, this one? E even. Even. Mm -hmm. Even. And this other word, enjoyable. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Enjoyable. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Now, here you can see this is in this uh, illustration, you can see the stages. And in, and let's say um, the um, I would say the level, right, that they are in, right. For example, awareness and knowledge will belong to the cognitive level, right. When people are getting to know the brand, right, identifying the colors, identifying the logo, the image, um. Uh, 
So that's cognitive, okay? Um, knowledge. Then we go to the affective, affective level. In the affective level, we have liking and we have preference, right? Liking meaning that the consumers are able to see the benefits, right? Uh, but then in preference, that's when they uh, start to realize or when they realize uh, that they prefer your brand because of this and this, right? And lastly, we have the level of the, the cognitive level, which uh, is more related to, okay, I am a, I am a customer now, I am a client now um, and I consume this brand, right? This is my preferred brand and this is what I purchase. For example, when I go to the supermarket, um, let me see, I, what is something I buy that is a specific brand? Ah, for example, I buy milk for my daughter. I buy, well, she's eight years old. Uh, she doesn't need that kind of milk anymore, but she still drinks it. It's Nido. Uh, so I buy Nido milk. That's the brand, right? So um, I buy it because it's supposed to be better than other brands. Um, according to the characteristics it has, right? So in that case, I the last stage is purchase, right? When the customer is already like convinced. Okay, so that's the last stage. Um, well, here we have like some more details related to these uh, levels, right? What I was explaining to you, the, for example, cognitive, the thinking stage, right? Um, affective meaning ha which is related to feeling eh, or emotions right and cognitive which has to do with behavior meaning that okay once you have a brand that you like that you're convinced is good for your needs then you don't need to think about any other brands anymore okay now this is something eh, I wanted us to check before we get into a, our lesson. But I um, I don't want to move on without a, giving you the chance to check some, maybe some words that you could identify in these parts of the text that we read and that probably you, you wanted a little bit of more a, explanation. So, I would like you to choose at least one word that you identified in the reading that you would like to check, that you would like to um, look up, okay, the definition. So can you please write in the chat? Let's write in the chat one word that you identified uh, from the article that you need more explanation about. Or if it is a word that you, you feel like you need to pronounce better, you need to practice the pronunciation, you can also type that kind of word in the chat, okay? If it is related to meaning or pronunciation. Okay, I'm gonna be waiting for your words. Remember that you can access the this article. Like for example, right now that I'm telling you to give me a word, uh, you can click on the link in the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can have direct access to it. Okay, I'm gonna be waiting for your words. Let's try to do at least one each for those who are participating. One word that you are not familiar with and that you need more explanation about, or one word that you need to practice the pronunciation. 
Okay, lady says highlighted. Highlighted. Highlight means to um to make it okay to emphasize to emphasize mm -hmm. so for example in this context that you saw this word let me see what it is here uh, the points of differentiation or unique selling points need to be highlighted so in this case a synonym that we can use is needs to be emphasized or need to be stressed. So when you emphasize on something, it means you focus on it, right? Okay, thank you, lady. Let's see if there is another one. Okay, let's take um, three minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna wait three minutes for you to post your word and then I'm going to move on to our lesson from the manual. Okay, do we have any other words? I'm waiting for your words. I said, let's share at least one word each. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. We have conviction, conviction stage. Well, <laughs> I know that conviction sounds more like when you go to prison, right? <laughs> but in this case, it's related to um, take advantage. Okay, I'm gonna write it here. Take advantage of people's, or in this case, customers, customers um, doubts and convince them and do something to convince them to buy or repair your brand. For example, uh, let's say that you are selling a cheese, okay? You're selling cheese and um, there is a customer who tells you, mm, I love your cheese. I love the way it, it tastes. I think it's high quality. And, um, and uh, well, I, I will buy your cheese from you. I mean, I will buy your cheese, but um, I'm still feeling like there is no balance between the quality and the price. Yes, the quality is good, 
but I think the price is too high. Okay. Imagine someone tells you that. And then you say, mm, ah, okay. Well, eh, we can work on that. And we can, for example, if you get, I don't know, let's say 50 kilos of queso, of, of, <laughs> of cheese, if you get 50 kilos of cheese, then eh, I will give you a certain discount, right? So based on the amount that they buy, you can give them a discount. So that is something that you can do to push a push the, the client, push the customer to buy from you, right? Uh, so in the in the reading, you, you could see that it says, um, let's see, it says marketers at this stage can push by giving out demo, free sample, test drives. So to convince the client that your brand is the best, right? Um, so that's what convi conviction stage is about, Mauricio. Okay, cognitive, cognitive. Thank you. You're welcome. Cognitive has to do with knowledge. Uh, Gilberto. Okay. Um, so cognitive, knowledge or thinking. Okay. If you go go down a little bit here in the article, here it explains what cognitive the cognitive level is about. This is the thinking stage. So when we say cognitive, it's everything that happens in your mind, right? All those processes uh, that are related to knowledge, right? That's cognitive. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Well, let's see if there is something else here in the chat. I don't see anything else. Um. Let's see here, Rodrigo. Okay. He's not feeling well. Okay, well, um, good. Thank you for sharing your words. Uh, so we could dive a little bit more into vocabulary. Now let's go to our manual. And we're going to check here some other vocabulary related to the stages. Oops. Okay, here we are. Um, well, we have a short, another short definition here for brand awareness, right? Uh, basically, helping students identify your brand and its attributes. And here we have um, some brand awareness stages, okay? Um, they may look a little different from the ones we read in the article, but they are related, of course, okay? So right now I'm going to give you some time for you to work on this uh, exercise individually okay we're going to work individually and then i'm going to ask some of you to help me with um the matching exercise okay so let's take um, let's see probably around four minutes okay we're going to work individually So let me set up the timer here. Okay, we have four minutes. Are you going? And a, so we can do the exercise individually.
Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Why? Um, I mean, during the exercise, I see the word recall. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, when do you use recall? Because you could say uh, a brand mention, for example. I, I don't know. It, it, it's a part that I'm recall. Sorry. It's particular for brand or or something like that. Well, in this case, uh, we are focusing on like okay, in the context of awareness, right? Brand awareness. Uh, this is more related to like how customers will remember your brand. Okay, how you will how your brand will live in your customers' minds. For example, um, through the colors, through the image, okay? So recall in this case is a synonym of remember. Uh, let's see um, what would be the, the definition. The, the number three, a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Mm -hmm. So I already gave you the number one. <laughs> Just that is the definition. Mm -hmm. So Again, going back to the word recall specifically in this context is a synonym of remember. For example, when somebody tells you, eh, oh, do you remember that day when we went to the park and we were doing this and that? And they say, I'm sorry, I don't recall that. So basically it's, I'm sorry, I don't remember. If you want to use recall, you can say, for example, do you recall when we went to that park? Yes, we can use it that way. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There is another use, but it's, it's like more technical definition. For example, a, um, in business, right? When something gets uh when something has a, a um, when something is damaged for example cars right they have a um a manufacturing um uh, damage right they are recalled so that is a different meaning it's a te more technical meaning but in this context, it's a synonym of remember. Okay, so since we already have number one, <laughs> I'm going to write it here. Let me see. Here. One. Okay. Now let's just, let's continue with recognition. Andres, what do you have as recognition? Well, in my case, teacher, I can. I is recognition is is the last one. Consumers, mm -hmm. yes, consumers can re correctly identify. Mm -hmm. A particular product just with a visual cue? Just with a visual cue. Mm -hmm. Cue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, to tell you the truth, this is a, the word here is not the, the correct one because cue in this case, I mean, this word that we have in the sentence cue is a synonym yes. of a. Um, like when you are um, in line 
waiting for something, okay? But the word that we should be using here is this one. It's the same pronunciation though. You say Q. Q for this one and Q for this one, okay? But the, the right word here should be this one, Q. It's like a synonym of clue, okay? Wow, okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Just with a visual cue. Uh huh. This is when, remember, we were talking about the colors, right? The image. Uh, a visual. Cognitive. Hmm? Like a cognitive. Exactly. A visual cue could be, for example, a, if I imagine I am driving a, around the city and I see um I see a yellow and orange a screen with some chicken wings. Well, immediately I will think of Don Pollo, right? Uh, so the colors and also the you know the logo helps me. Those are the visual cues, okay? Because that is what I see, and I immediately recognize the the, the brand. Mm -hmm. So recognition. Okay, let's move on for number three. Top of mind, Mr. Gilberto. What do you have for top of mind? Top of mind. I seen teacher uh, uh, the customer can or recall any brand but you for particular product category. Mm. No, in this case, it's a different one. It would be uh, the number, let me see, one, two, three, four. Okay. The fourth definition, this one. Uh, and the mm -hmm. fair brand customer can think of for a product category. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, for example, well, we, we are talking about fried chicken. Okay, if I say fried chicken, what can you think of? What brands? What is the first brand that comes to your mind when you hear fried chicken? Uh, NDK, Pollo Campero. Aha. Uh -huh. So in this case, Pollo Campero is top of mind, right? top of mind, meaning that immediately, I mean, there is a product category and you say, ah, Pollo Campero, or the same with shoes, right? Uh, let's say we're talking about tennis shoes. For tennis shoes, what brand comes to your mind first? Nice. Nike, uh-huh, okay, so yes. It's the first brand that customers can think of for a product category. In this case, these brands like in Pollo Campero for fried chicken here in El Salvador or Nike, they are examples of brands that have become top of mind, right? Because they are the first brands that people think of when they are given a product category. Like I said, fried chicken, tennis shoes, jeans, um, let's see, computers, um, cell phones, etc. Those are the product categories. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Um, now, this expression, I mean, here I am taking advantage of the vocabulary and how we can use it in other contexts as well. Uh, this expression, top of mind, is also used in in general, like for example, a, when you're if you are talking about something and you can say you you can say, uh, right now at the top of my mind I can tell you this and this. 
So it means that what you're thinking at the moment, right? Um, like we say in Spanish, lo que se me ocurre en este momento es tal y tal cosa. So in English, we say, right now, at the top of my mind, this is what I have, okay? So okay. we can use it in any conversation like that. Okay, let's move on. We have brand dominance. Gabriela, can you please share what you have brand. for definition of brand dominance? Okay, Gabriela is not available, I think. What about Sofia? Are you participating, Sofia? Yes, teacher. Okay. So what do you have for brand dominance? Is the customer's can recall any brand but yours for a particular product category? Mm-hmm. Okay, so going back to these examples, so this will be number four. Aha, going back to the examples we were mentioning, like Pollo Campero or Nike, we can also say that these brands, right, um, are dominant in the market, right? Um, because that, I mean, imagine, for fried chicken, we have pollo campero, we have Kentucky, we have, well, Don Pollo is, they say that it's the same company as pollo campero, but it's a different brand, though. E pollo campestre, etc. I mean, there are several brands, right? But if I, if somebody tells you, I, I want to eat fried chicken, oh, let's go to pollo campero. So in this case, it means that um, that is the one you remember and the others kind of don't exist, right? I mean, like you don't remember, you don't even remember them. You only remember one. So in this case, that is brand dominance, right? Um, okay, and the last one, a non-brand. Well, of course, this is, here, customers, customers don't recognize your brand, okay? A non-brand. Of course, this is a, when basically you just start, right? Nobody knows you, nobody knows your brand. So that's why you do this um, brand awareness and implement different strategies. Okay, any question or, or anything related to this vocabulary before we move on? Are all these stages clear or do you need um, more information about some of them? Okay, it looks like everything was clear. Now, because these are stages, this means that they go in chronological order, right? We start with a number one, brand recall. Uh, number two, recognition. Number three, top of mind. Number four, brand dominance. And number five, unknown brand. Okay, so those are uh, the stages. Now, uh, we're going to do the pair work that you see here in our manual. Let me see. Okay, uh, let me delete this part. Okay, the question is, uh, what brands are top of mind for you? 
or for your classmates. Okay, so right now we're going to do it individually, okay? As you see, there are a four questions. Okay, let me show you. Okay, there are four questions. For each question, you need to answer, okay? Um, and then I'm going to ask you to interview different classmates. Um, I'm going to um, be changing. Okay, first I'm going to create a breakout rooms with a partner. Then I'm going to uh, change the partners, okay? Uh, so that you can interview as many people as possible uh, related to this information, okay? So let's go over the questions and check if you have any doubts. So the first question is, what are examples of ice cream produced locally? Next question, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Next, can you explain what a Kleenex is? Next, what's your favorite movie theater? Okay, so right now let's take, um, let me see how much time we may need, around five minutes, okay? So five minutes to answer these questions individually, okay? And then we're going to uh, talk to our partners uh, in the breakout rooms. So, we have, I get the filter no me deja. You cannot see my, my, my chronometer. Okay, five minutes starting now. Remember, this is individually right now. Let's answer the questions. And while you're working on that, I need to go get some more water. So I'll be right back.
Okay, that was our timer. I don't know if we are ready. Can you please raise your hand if you are ready? Thank you, Lady Israel. Okay, what about the others? We ready? Well, I'm assuming yes. <laughs> As we say in Spanish, el que calla otorga. <laughs> so, well, uh, now it's time to share, okay? But as I said, we're going to do a little round of interviews with different partners, okay? So right now I'm going to prepare the breakout rooms with your first partner. And then we're going to move to a different breakout room to interview somebody else, okay? Interview each other, okay? Because all of you have the answers. I mean, the questions. Um, okay. Um, well, I don't know if Gabriela is participating. Gabriela, can you confirm? I see you have listener in your name, but I'm not sure. Okay, so, so far we have the first pair. And okay, um, to make it more organized, I'm going to give um, five minutes per pair, okay? Because remember, you're going to ask the questions to your classmate and also you're going to answer the questions um, from your classmate, I, it's, a, it's an interview, okay? So for example, let's say that I'm working with lady. So I start asking the questions for lady and then lady asks me the questions to answer, okay? So it's an interview. That's why I'm giving you, well, let's say four minutes, okay? Four minutes, two minutes per person. And then I'm going to move you to a different room, okay, with a different classmate. So again, we have four minutes. And here we go. Uh, Mauricio, can you please join room three or do you have any issues to join? Mauricio? Hello, Mauricio. Okay, I'm going to move Sofia.
they they have one local or say yes the one local here next to the bypass mm, okay i see in san miguel too yes i, I i'm so i've seen in san miguel um if you want, we can move to the next question. It's about what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Apple. Yes, it was easy. <laughs> I think the same. Too easy. <laughs> easy, teacher. Easy. Like a piece of cake. Yes. Uh okay, lady. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, can you explain what <laughs> what a Kleenex is? Uh Kleenex is that song all men sell. Teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. My answer from Gilberto's is like that, but I don't know if that is correct. Use this word. Mm -hmm. But I say, well, I'm going to 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 say my my old answer. Mm -hmm. I don't have any ice cream that produce locally. I just can say that I can see ice cart. That song, old men sells. Ice cart. Uh, I want to say a sorbete de carreta. <laughs> ah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, you can say ice cream carts. Mm -hmm. That's ice cream fine. Cart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Well, that is. It, it has another name, a different. I mean, like because it is. Mm, Artisanal tea. Yeah, artisanal. Artis yes. Artisanal ice cream chips. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or homemade. That's a diff another one. Homemade ice cream. Mm -hmm. Homemade ice cream. Mm -hmm. But both are okay. Artisanal or homemade. Okay. <laughs> okay. Follow. Okay, and the other question was the name of a computer company identify via particular fruit? Huh. Identify Apple that was created for Steve Jobs. All right. Mm -hmm. and, the other, and the other question can you explain what a clinic? Yes, yes, yes. I can say that it's a disposable brand. Uh, brand disposable uh, brand. It's no. It's a it's a brand of a disposable products like like uh, tissues, toilet paper, and diapers. Okay. And and the other question: uh, What your favorite movie theater? Movie theater. 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 In my case, I like cinema because the, the movie theater has a lot of the cons and the food and the movies. All right. Okay. I'm going to make the, the question for you, Gilbert. Okay. Okay. What are examples of what are examples of an ice cream produced locally? Uh, yes, uh, for example, locally they produce ice cream, uh, Rio Soto, uh, near the Dacian Dona. Ah, that's where they produce it. Yes, uh, Rio Soto. Okay. 
Okay. Um, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? In this case, the, uh, the most form, famous the computer company Apple. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. And what do you explain what a clinic is? Uh, the clinic uh, is a product the clean the back room uh, and hangers or, or the other okay. part of the body. Okay. Body. Okay. Um, what's your favorite movie theater? And favorite movie theater. Uh, no more. Uh, auction. Only cinema. The. The. Uh, Center market. Center, okay. Which mark? Which cinema? Yes. Uh, no, uh, no more, more uh, auction the, the theater. So you movie. Don't, you don't go to the movie theater. Yes. And the other uh, other uh, auction. A TV in my home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Most is the cheaper. <laughs> cheaper security is cheaper. <laughs> Good point, Gilberto. Yeah. I almost never go to the movie theater either. I'm not a yeah, movie the theater chef. fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I don't know if Sophia already participated. No, teacher. He, when yes, you... teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to change partners, okay? I'm going to move you to a different room so you can share the answers to somebody else, okay? Okay. okay. Ah, pero lo bueno que... Okay. So we can I'm going to make you the uh, the question and you can answer me and, and then you can ask make me the question. Okay, and Sofia is here with us. Yes. I think ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. again, teacher, again. Okay. <laughs> Well, maybe because you are three, you can like, for example, let's say Israel asks the question and everybody shares their answer and then you move on to the next question and so on. Okay, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for the first one is, what are example of ice cream produced locally? Okay. 
In my case, I don't have any ice cream, ice cream that produce locally. I just can say that uh, um, um, some homemade ice cream that some old man sells in the strip. Why do you say old man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. No, no, because I don't see. I you say in my locally, teacher. I don't see near so to in my your house. neighborhood only old men yeah. sell ice cream. Old men sell uh, that kind <laughs> of ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you can say um, vendors, for example, like you can say, I only see some vendors in my neighborhood selling homemade ice cream. Mm -hmm. Vendor is a word that you use for like these these people who are like you know selling things like that like ice cream or um like the ones they are at the super sorry the ones that are at the market with their their stalls with fruits and vegetables they are vendors sales people oh. usually are like related to the ones that are work at companies so just to give you a little bit of context in terms of this vocabulary that is related to to sell sales okay okay continue i'm going to check with the other group uh this O que nos retiren. Yes. Pues esta es la última semana, Lady. Y a ver cómo nos va el próximo año. No, o sea, a ver, yo creo que no va a continuar. Sí, ¿verdad? Porque. El Teacher, decreto... vamos a continuar el otro año. <risa> Good question. I don't know either. <risa> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, under Insafor, maybe not, but according to what I have read, um, yes, I mean, the, the, the programs will continue. That's what I, I, I understand. Probably it will be, I don't know, maybe a little different, in, but the uh, the programs are supposed to continue, the training programs. So we'll see. Okay. How long okay. have you been have you been studying in, in this program? Uh, one year. Oh, one year. Okay. Uh -huh. And you, Mister. Uh, study English teacher. Aha, uh -huh, in this program. Uh, in, in the program nine months. Oh, okay. A program. Mm -hmm. The approximate. Approximately. Okay. Okay. And when you started, did you know a little bit or are or did you start from zero? Mm, uh, level three. You studied in level three. Yes, es que hice un examen de nivelación. Bueno, un examen para ver en qué nivel estaba. Ah, okay. Sí, creo que ese lo hacen todos. Si, si no estoy mal. Eh, no sé si usted también lo hizo, Mister. El examen mm. de nivelación. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. 
So have you, mm -hmm. like, have you, I, I guess you have been, like, with the same people, right? The same group since you started or not? Uh, not. No. Okay. Yo tuve como, como seis, seis profesores ya. <laughs> okay. No, I mean with the same group of classmates. Ah, no. Ajá, o sea, siempre me cambiaban de grupo y de compañeros. Ah, okay. Okay. I thought you nada had... Ajá, nada más que en este último sí ya duré como más tiempo. Con los mismos compañeros. Ajá. Ya en este último sí. Ah, okay. How many modules have, have you been together? ¿Eh? How many modules have you been together? Mm, three. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it and no quiero ver. Mm. Sí, cinco maestros con usted. Cinco profes y o sea, licenciado. Ajá. Okay. So you have a lot, a lot to compare. <laughs> este sí, este no, este porque sí, este porque no, etcétera, etcétera. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, um, are you are you done with the questions? With the yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, since we only have one, sorry, we have two groups. Uh, let yeah. me see if I can, I, I don't think I will make another change because we are, there are only two groups and I we, we will repeat. Okay, so I'm going to um, take you to the main room and uh, we can share some of the ideas that you discuss with your classmates, okay? So I'll see you there. Okay. Okay. Okay, hello, hello, welcome back. Well, um, we're coming back from this experience of listening and sharing with different classmates. And now I would like you to share um, some differences or similarities that you have in your answers to questions, okay? Um, if some answers were the same or if some answers were completely different, because this exercise is actually um, done with the purpose of checking uh, how aware you are um, in terms of some specific brands, okay? So it's an exercise for you to do as a customer and see how aware or how much aware you are related to these uh, brands that are related to different product categories, right? Like ice cream, computers, um, very different product categories. So let's see. I'm gonna take uh, the first as a volunteer and then I'm going to choose some, probably two more people, okay? So, who is the first volunteer? Uh huh. Who wants an extra point? 
who wants an extra point? Andrés, okay, very good. <laughs> no me funcionaba el táctil. <laughs> you missed it, lady. <laughs> no, you are the second one. Okay. Andrés. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to answer the questions or or well, no, I'm going I to Mostly, I would like you to share your experience. Like, did you and your classmates have similar answers, the same answers, or very different answers? Well, teacher, I can say that in the first question, there is um, what are example of ice cream produced locally? Uh huh. And yes, in my case, that I interview Gilberto and Jose Israel, I can. I can say that is a difference, um, a different answers because I have my point, and they have their points, and the different brands. So okay. I can say that that our answers it was it were different. Okay. Um, the other question that is, what is the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? I can say mm -hmm. that there is the same answer because here in El Salvador. I think that we know the or is the most famous um, brand of a uh, computer with a fruit is Apple. So <laughs> we, uh -huh. <laughs> it's the same answer in this case, teacher. And the other one, that, can you explain what Kleenex is? I think that uh, so Gilberto and Jose Israel answer the same like me. They say the okay. same. Same information like me, mm -hmm. because we know about this brand. And the other one that is, what's your favorite movie theater? Yes, I think that in this in this case, we select the same movie theater that is Cinemark. And in the case of Gilberto, he said that there is a good auction, but he prefers uh, the TV in his house. And the other one that is Jose Israel, he said that he because he's close closer to to him, I think that is for his place, close uh -huh. to his place, uh -huh. and he prefer um, the cinema too. In my case, I prefer because I have a, a car for uh, I can have a, some discount. So we select ah, cinema. You have a you have a <laughs> how do you call it? Uh... Cinema. No, uh, let me see what's the name. A frequent, a frequent customer card. Yeah, yeah, a frequent <laughs> customer card. Yes, teacher. I'm not sure if that is the the term in English. I'm I don't remember if we use it that way, but I translated it from Spanish. Um, okay, so you get Thank discounts. You. Yes, teacher. Okay. Just like that. Okay, great. Lady, go ahead. Teacher, in the question two, mm -hmm. um, um, the answers is the same, are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the number one, Helado de carretón. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, tam tamarindo and coconut. Ok. Now, Clean. we were discussing, sorry, sorry to interrupt, lady, but we, we were discussing that term with Andres because he also had that answer uh, and also with Sofia. And we said that we can say, in this case, homemade ice cream. Uh, or also artisanal ice cream, artisanal. Mm -hmm. Artisanal ice cream. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. and, and, and the word carreton is translated mm -hmm. as cart, cart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can say homemade ice cream carts. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, continue, please. Sorry to interrupt. Artisanal ice cream. 
Yeah. And the clinic, the clinics is um the similar to como toallas sanitarias que a veces se confunden, por ejemplo, Cotex con Saba, pero es la, la marca. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pero de Kleenex. Ok. Um, ajá, y... Um, so Kleenex, how did, like, did you have similar uh, answers with, for example, Israel or, or Gilberto? Yes. Meaning napkin brand. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the last one is Cinemark. And both case. Okay, I see. Okay, based on your answers or what you are sharing, it looks like um, the favorite brand for cinema or for the movie theater is Cinemark. <laughs> for, for, for the class. So, <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, I wanted to, I wanted you to think about this experience in terms of the vocabulary we have been checking related to brand awareness in the stages, right? Because, for example, everybody said when we were when we talked about the second question, brand of computer that is related to a fruit everybody's answer is the same, right? Apple. What does that mean? What does that mean in terms of the, the brand awareness? What can we say about that? What is our conclusion? I need you to use the vocabulary we studied. Okay, so let me share the screen so you can remember, so you can recall <laughs> I'm using the vocabulary, okay? So let's see. Aha, here, here we have the, the, the vocabulary. So what is your conclusion, especially about the answer to the second question? Everybody said Apple. So why did everybody say Apple or why was it so easy to identify this brand for everybody? I want you to give me a conclusion, but using one of these terms. Who's going to dare? Quien se atreve? Andres, okay, go ahead. In my opinion, teacher, I can say that the uh, Apple is a talk of my of the devices, electrical devices, mm -hmm. or yeah, the different electrical devices here in El Salvador. For that reason, we recognize this brand of this product. Immediately, right? So it's the first brand customers can think of for a product category. Okay. Do you do you also think that in this case Apple it has a brand dominance. It's a dominant brand. Yeah, yeah, I think it it is the pants teacher because we have to understand that some ones that can buy that or yeah that that can buy that kind of product. There is some people that of course have more or earn more money from the other ones. Mm -hmm. okay. So we can say the 50 to 60. <laughs> people who can afford, remember that? Yeah, the, people the who word. can afford, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People who can afford it, yes. It's not yeah, because if, for, for example, in a simple person, and if someone, yeah, we recognize the, the, the brand, but we think better in a, cheaper cell phone or in a cheaper computer so yeah aha uh -huh. this is the idea right that in some cases for some products it's not exactly that i mean affordability is something else right um because remember they have they also have a target market right probably if you or in in my case i i i well i I don't have any Apple device, so I'm not their target market. <laughs> um, 
probably not because I can't afford it, but because I am not a fan of the Apple devices, um, like other people are, right? But yeah, everything is a is a mix of these elements, right? If you are the target market, if you can afford it, um, and you can recognize a brand, but not necessarily buy it, right? Um, so, okay, very good, great conclusion. So we can recognize. Um, now, this is not only in El Salvador. Apple is a great example of, in this case, a top of mind brand around the world, right? Around the world. Okay, very good. Now, um, what about, okay. Now think of the first question, everybody. I'm trying to make you think of what happened here with this experience, okay? So the first question is about ice cream produced locally, okay? Um, I heard, I heard, uh, well, actually Andres and Lady shared the same answer, I think. Right, they were talking about homemade ice cream, but that exactly, I mean, that doesn't exactly mean that it's a brand, right? That it, it doesn't have any brand, okay, because it's homemade. Um, I heard a um, Mr. Gilberto talk about Rio Soto. Do you know? Did you know that Rio Soto is a locally produced ice cream brand? Teacher, uh, uh -huh. Rio Soto, uh, yes, is ice cream brand in the, in the country. Uh -huh. uh, okay, according to Gilberto, is a local, Rio Soto is a local, a, a locally produced ice cream brand. Okay. Let me check here. I'm going to Google it quickly just to check if we are right in the sense that it's Salvadorian. Is it Salvadorian? Let me see. Helado Rio Soto. Mm. Mm -hmm. It looks like, yes, it is Salvadorian. There is another brand. I don't know if you have heard it. Um, let me see. It's from originally from Santa Ana. El, in, el inigualable or el incomparable. I don't remember. Something like that. El... In rival. Ah, Something like that. Uh huh. El sin rival. Exactly. I just. Tenía la idea. Tenía la idea, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -huh. But that is another example <laughs> of a locally produced ice cream. But okay, what I want you to see here with these examples of brands is that probably, I mean, for some people, in this case, they love ice cream, right? They they are aware of the brand, but if they don't care about ice cream, probably they don't they don't know about these brands, right? Um, with computers, well, these days almost everybody pays attention to technology, right? So even if you cannot buy an Apple computer, but you know about it, right? So, I mean, there are so many things here that we could discuss in terms of brand awareness, right? Um, what about the question number three? Can you explain what a Kleenex is? Uh, according to um, Andres in ladies' answer, is 
very similar, right? Now, what happens with clinics? What is a phenomenon that happens with clinics? I want you to please tell me. Uh -huh. For example, lady, lady mentioned that when we talk about um about um how do you call it pad menstrual pads for women we we have the brand Saba and we have the brand Cotex right and sometimes we we don't we don't differentiate the brand right we say Cotex for all of them so what about Clinics. What happens with clinics? The question, the question mentions clinics for a purpose because there is a phenomenon that happens with this brand specifically. So I would like you to, to share if you know what it is. Okay, I guess, <laughs> I guess no, no, we don't recall maybe. Okay, the phenomenon is, I, and I had already explained this uh, in previous sessions, uh, that when there is a brand that is so popular that people, everybody knows it, we tend to um, maybe forget that it is a brand it is a, a specific brand and we call Kleenex to any, any uh, disposable napkin, okay? For example, um, I don't know, you can be using a pollito nap napkin, pajarito napkin, but you call it Kleenex. Pasame el Kleenex. Y no es de la marca Kleenex, es de otra marca. So, but Kleenex has become this, uh, in this case, probably we can say top of mind, right? Top of mind brand for disposable napkins, or a, we can say also it has brand dominance, right? That we use it not as a brand name, but, but as a, as a, um, as a synonym of a disposable napkin. Nos olvidamos de la marca completamente y ya lo estamos usando más como un sustantivo común, right? To say, it's the same example as Rinso. I explained that some, some days ago. With Rinso, it happens the same, right? Eh, le decimos Rinso a todo lo que tenga que ver con detergente. Okay, detergent. Okay, well, um with these uh, with these discussions we have experienced how aware we are of some brands with some products and maybe as i said before probably in the case of ice cream eh, if we are not the target market for this kind of product probably we are not that aware right or much aware as in the other cases so um, I hope the experience of sharing these questions helped us understand better how brand awareness works, okay? Um, well, we're going to stop here for today. And if you want to know more about brand awareness, um, over there in the, in the article we read at the beginning, uh, you can go to the link and there are many other subtopics that you can check, okay? Um, well, let's check attendance before we leave. Uh, 
a Dani Anthony, Sigüenza Aventura. Dani, let me see if he is here. No lo veo. He left already. Okay, eh, Gilberto, Benito, Santa María Ríos. Present teacher. Eh, José Andrés, Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. José Isabel, Martina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay, eh, Julio Aristides, Paz Rivas. As a listener, I think. Um, oh my gosh, this thing is a little crazy. Okay, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Um, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. I think he's here as a listener today. Rodrigo, I hope you're feeling better tomorrow. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, María Leticia, Realejeño González. Presente. Ok. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. Ok, I see you're here as a listener. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. She's here as a listener. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga as a listener too. Rolando Danilo, Sánchez Arteaga, as a listener. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo. Present teacher. Ok, and Gabriela, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granareño. Yes, she's here as a listener. Ok, well, this is it for today. Have a good night, everybody. Have a See good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.